My name is John McPherson. I've been principal trombone of the orchestra since 1980. And uh, I got into composition uh, in the late 80s, 90s, started writing some music. And I was asked to do a concerto with the symphony, and uh, it wasn't that long, so they asked me if I had anything else, and I said, well, why don't I write something? So I ended up writing this, this piece we're going to play. Uh, it's called Walk in Beauty, and it's for trombone and orchestra. And whether it was being lazy or whether it was just writing an experiment, I decided to make most of the solo part improvised. Um, but no, it wasn't really being lazy. It, it is an experiment because I do play improvised music in other forms in jazz and Dixieland and uh, just classical tradition improvisation too. And I think it's uh, it's something worth exploring um, for the audience. I think it becomes an, an interesting uh, feature of, of this piece. The name of the piece was inspired by reading Tony Hillerman books who interestingly integrates Navajo culture, traditions, philosophy, spiritualities into his mystery stories. And uh, they all take place in the Four Corners area in southwest uh, United States, where, the, uh, uh, where a lot of the uh, native tribes were forced to move into and cohabitate together, the Navajo and the Hopi and Zuni. Uh, anyways, walk in beauty is a concept that comes from the Navajo culture, which essentially involves the concept of keeping your own personal uh, state, life, uh, in balance with the physical, emotional, spiritual sides. And uh, if you do achieve this equilibrium, you're able to experience the world uh, as a world of beauty and harmony, as opposed to a world of struggle and fears. And and all those things. So that's where the concept came from. Uh, because I, I'm attracted to the fact that that state is also a great state to make music in, especially improvised music, because when you play improvised music you want to be in a very balanced state so that you're able to experience what's around you and right. relate to that musically and create something more, more spontaneous and more beautiful. Right. So what I really tried to do was create some nice sounds to relate to as the soloist and some nice grooves that uh, roll along uh, and that had enough space in them that allowed for the soloist to explore different things and wasn't too limited. Uh, I think when the trombone is played in its natural setting, it is more of a, uh, let's say, human extension as the voice is than it is a mechanical, technical extension like other instruments. Not to criticize other instruments is wonderful, and, 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 uh, and uh, instruments are wonderful machines. I think the piano is maybe the greatest machine humans have ever made. But uh, the trombone in its nature um, is, is more vocal, is more expressive, and, uh, and those are the kinds of sounds with, that I like to explore on it. Thank you. 
Thank you.